हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर स्मिता कुमार एंड हियर आर माई टू ब्यूटिफुल डॉटर्स सई एंड सखी August 7th was designated to celebrate the National Handloom Day to memorialize the Swadeshi movement handloom and Indian legacy my handloom my pride the main aim of handloom day is to pay tribute to the huge handloom community in the country for their contribution to carrying on the traditional heritage the process requires the manual involvement and the artistic approach buying handloom cloths directly from the weavers to motivate and support them become the best contribution to national handloom day spreading awareness about the indian handloom will help other citizen understand why handloom products are better than factory items and for me it is not fashion it is my passion and i wear it as a badge of honor pride to support our weavers if you love all the things natural and take pride in wearing handcrafted hand spun hand woven hand painted natural dyed organic cotton products here are some dupattas from my collection azrak was possibly one of the oldest printing method of the indian subcontinent in sanskrit azharat means which does not fed and indigo is one of the main color of the textile it is possible that azra got its name means blue in arabic the indian ethnic fabric kach bujodi weaving hand woven kala cotton dupatta a unique kach art usually geometric motifs are arranged aesthetically and then woven into the fabric usually a special technique the yarn is first dyed in rich shades of natural colors providing an earthy look and feel and the magic is the woolen weave offer warm in the winter and keeps cool in the summer i just want to bring you closer to the world of handmade treasures from the interior of india it is said that the hands of a craftsman engaged in his craft is always pure kalamkari paint it is known to be a healing fabric as the color motifs and the narration of magical forms create an aura that heals an individual physically and spiritually only natural dyes are used in kalamkari which is an ancient style of hand painting done on a cotton or silk with tamarind pen look at here the left one having the beautiful motifs of nandi the different gods and here on right side wearing sakhi having the narration of lotus madhubani art it is a style of painting practiced in the mithila region of india and nepal and named after madhubani district of bihar from where it is originated the painting is done using various tools like twigs brushes nip pen mastics and using natural dyes and pigments kantha kantha meaning patched cloth works a combination of silk and the cotton it is small straight running uh, running stitches that can be clean and simple or multicolored and elaborated fulkari the fulkari 
that is floral work embroidery begun in punjab it is the rural handmade embroidery tradition of punjab and known as folk embroidery of the punjab not only flowers but also include various motifs and geometric patterns and shapes madhubani phulkari dupatta are unique new patterns and lovely color combinations and having the intricate weaving bandhni the most cherished and adorned textile art of gujarati culture it is a type of tie dye textile decorated by plucking the cloth with finger tails fingernails into many tiny bindings that forms a figurative design the term derived from the sanskrit verbal root band to bind to tie chicken curry from the lucknow chicken is delicate and artfully done hand embroidery on a variety of textiles like muslin silk chiffon and the white thread is embroidered on cool pastel shades of light garment gamthi print originated from the village gam of india has vibrant colors contrasting prints varied patterns and the main color used were green from hina yellow from turmeric blue as a krishna from indigo and black from the rustan near about 27 colors are made from plant parts and the metal bagru printed dupatta the region bagru is basically famous for two kinds of print that is dabu print and siali bagru print the bagru is known for its combination of black black and the cream color on the other hand the da- dabu print is done using a special resistance technique where the prints are hidden from the dye The bagru print is done using use a geometric pattern with birds animals and floral designs to result in absolutely a unique design here are the indigo dabu bagru print dupattas sanganar print of jaipur it is basically done on off white or pure white cloth by using wooden blocks some common flowers prints are used in sanganar block printing intricate detailing result in a absolutely stunning designs and the bagru and cotton they differ from sanganar print in bagru dabu the blocks geometric patterns are used and in case of sanganar the flower patterns are famous ikat or patola particular fabric pattern achieved through the process called resis dyeing and then it is woven both tie and dye and batik where dyeing takes place after the fabric has woven but in case of ikat the dyeing takes place before yarn is woven into the cloth and that result in very different appearance the right hand it is ikat and on left hand it is the tie and dye fabric pashmina 
is category of Kashmiri shawls from the Ladakh region made from Kashmir wool grows on body of gold found in Ladakh it is thin yet very warm look at the intricate weaving here is the mashru silk azrak dupatta azrak print so on this national handloom day we salute the indian weavers and the indian waves curated from all the corners of india articulating our historic handloom and as i am from solapur solapur is famous for textile sudgirni industries and there are many power loom and cotton mills in the district so if you really like the video please comment so we can bring you the collection of other handloom and handcrafted products thank you